Then Spee jumped on the ramp of our heli, and we got back home. Sounds like you had a really rough time. And we're not done yet. Whatever the Russians were doing back there, it seems dangerous. Anyway, it's getting late. Let's get back to the camp. Sounds like someone's at the shooting range. It must be SV and AV. You know those guys. They love shooting practice. Hey, Alex. You guys ready for dinner? Why don't you ask the twins? Ask them during their target practice. <laughs> no way, mate. I'm not getting between them and their gun. You know them. Gotta go a day without shooting a gun. They're way too obsessed with those things. What the heck was that? Everyone all right? Follow me. We gotta find Spee and Lawn. Lawn, do you copy? Spee, do you copy? Where's Spee and Lawn? Does anybody know what's going on? Copy. Yes, I copy laws. What's going on? We're under attack by Russian men. Three units from the station. They're landing on the helipad. Where are you, laws? Where is speed? We're in the guard. Looks like we're on our own for now, boys. Stay together. We've got to defend the hangar. Right on. Open the hangar door. Everyone, get ready. Outside. Smoke screen. I can't see anything. Open fire on the fly. Fire! Fire! Dead man. All right, everyone, get up. You're all in one piece. Drill's over. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears, kid. Use it. Wait, what happened? Was it all just a drill? I could have shot you. And you didn't. That's the problem. That was the point of the drill, to test your performance in sudden action. And guess what? You failed. You guys are not ready yet. You need some more training before we go after Romanov. Looks like without Lowe's and me, you're all too disorganized. Imagine what would happen if one of us was gone. That's why we staged that drill, to test if you guys are ready to fight Romanov. And like I said, you're not. Tomorrow we start a new training session. We'll update you on the details in the morning. Now go get some rest. Dismissed. Yesterday Spee was a hard ass. No shit. I've never seen him that serious on the task force before. He's taking that Romanov story too seriously. Attention task force. All right, task force 99. After your disappointing performance yesterday, it's time to prove your worth. Today, we start a new training session for our small unit. First of all, some of our more experienced soldiers are chosen as supervisors. Sergeant Pan will supervise obstacle courses and Simon Victor will coordinate your weapons and equipment training. Today we're going to have some fun walking 10 kilometers, fully geared up. I know everyone loves that. Go to Station 3 and aim your rifle down range. Now I'm going to make the targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can.
Proper good job, mate. Captain wants to see you. Good news, gentlemen. Task Force 141 was kind enough to give us some of their winter uniforms. I don't know about you guys, but I find them really cool. Carlisle, you're next for the action course. Come get in the lift. Here's the deal. This is probably our final day of training. Spee wants this final course executed perfectly by everyone, including himself. You were the last one to run it today, so don't disappoint us. It took us three days to rebuild the basement and convert it to this course. Anyway, gear up and begin the course. Spee's gonna be watching. Looks like we got a new commander in our task force. I'm sure he's getting there, Cap. You made me proud, man. I now believe that we stand a chance against the enemy. Let's go set up a plan to find and stop Romanov. I'll see you all in the debrief tomorrow. Comrade General, the evacuation from Sicily has been completed. The last helicopter has just arrived. Sergeant, why are you the one reporting this? Why not Major Misha? He... he is dead, sir. The British killed him. It has been more than three weeks since the incident. Why did it take you so long to report his death? My apologies, General Romanov. We... we were too busy. Enough! You are hiding something, Sergeant, and you had better tell me what it is, for your own good. My General, they accessed the City Hall's main computer. They did what? Please, sir, you must understand that we were outgunned. That computer had the nuclear codes. Do you know what that means? I shouldn't have trusted Major Misha with them. That imbecile proved to be more useless than I predicted. Now that these British have the abort codes, they must never reach the nuclear silo. We have to make sure that will not happen. Who are they, my general? They are my elite personal guards. I lay my utmost trust to them. Yuri, my son, welcome. You have a son, sir? I found him during the Georgian Civil War. He was just a child, alone in the wreckage. When I looked into his eyes, I saw the soul of a brave warrior. So I took him in, I raised him, and now there he is, ready to fight for my cause. 
You see, Sergeant, this time I will count on real soldiers, not like your pathetic comrade who ingloriously died back in Sicily. They proved how expendable and weak they were. You see, making the same mistake twice makes them out unwise. And I hate being called unwise. Attention Task Force 99. Firstly, I want to congratulate all of you on your efforts throughout the training. I'm sure it'll pay off. Gentlemen, we've set up a plan to take down Romanov. During our adventure back in Italy, we managed to collect significant enemy intelligence. By studying that intel in depth, we came up with a plan to take down Romanov. But first, Laws will fill you in on all we know about Romanov's operations. Romanov is preparing for war. He wants to establish forward bases in Europe to rapidly expand upon the outbreak. So far, he has been active in two undercover locations in Southeast Europe. The one we encountered in Italy, and the one here in Greece. Those regions were already evacuated from civilians according to local authorities. After our involvement in Italy, Romanov withdrew all of his remaining forces to his establishment here in Greece, where he also holds a nuclear missile silo armed with a warhead. There hasn't been any aggressive activity on his behalf ever since, which is troubling considering the losses he sustained. Our top priority is to prevent that warhead from ever launching and eventually putting a stop to Romanov's plans. This is a map of Romanov's region of influence here in Greece. His activities expand between these three key positions. The seaside supply depot in the south, the train station town in the northwest, and his missile silo base in the northeast. There's an abandoned railway that the enemy uses to transfer troops and supplies between the base and the town. And there's a scheduled train route in a few days between the town and the base. Romanov will be on that train, which will make him vulnerable. That's where we'll strike. Taking out Romanov will bring disorder to his forces and give us less trouble when assaulting the nuke base. Our plan will now be elaborated by speed. Our plan goes as follows. Pan will disguise himself as one of the enemies and sneak into the supply depot where security is minimal. Los Alex and I will work our way into the supply depot to find Pan. He will then get us on an enemy supply truck at stowaways and drive us to the train station. When we get to the train station, Pan will make sure that the cargo we're hiding in gets loaded onto the train. Once we're on the train, it's all or nothing. We'll push through the train cars to find and eliminate Romanov. To ensure the train is deprived of enemy reinforcements, we need the rest of the task force to cause a diversion near the town. You've got to buy us enough time to find Romanov before the train reaches the main base. After we defeat Romanov on the train, we will regroup and assault the main base together. If we fail on the train, you'll have to do it yourselves. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Our mission begins in five days. Until then, study our plan thoroughly. I want you all perfectly prepared for this. Dismissed. Laws, do you think we're ready for this? If you keep worrying about it, mate, we'll show that you're not. I understand that, but we were extremely lucky back in Sicily. It's really unlikely that this will ever happen again. Listen, Romanov has greater numbers, only this time we have a plan. We've prepared hard for this, and the enemy has no idea we're coming. So don't worry, mate, we'll be fine. Right, but I want you and our boys to keep your eyes open at all times. There's just too much at stake. And I hate the idea of losing a soldier. We're Task Force 99. We're hard to kill. And you know very well I've always got your back. Now come on, let's get going. Hard to kill, but not impossible to kill. Stalker 1, ready. Stalker 2, ready. Seriously, Lowe's? We just 
just started a mission. We're all supposed to be fit and rested. Time to meet a night with good more cup of tea. Right? Well, let me put it this way. If we fail the mission, we won't be any help for us. Cleverly. Alex, you okay back there? Beautiful. Just keep it steady, mate. Shipwreck. We'll use it for cover. We'll do fire and follow me. Stay low, move on ahead. Lost, who are these guys? The pirates. Bring the pardon to replace his lost city. It looks like we had a lot of damage back there. Yeah, no doubt. Alright, we'll do fire to the rushes go away. What are they doing here anyway? There must be salvaging supplies from that ship. What kind of supplies? Probably SCG 44s. The ship was carrying those weapons to a German base in Greece back in 44. It looks like the Allies found the ship and destroyed it. This was all in Rome was intel. That explains the SCG 44s they had in Sicily. Anyway, the Russians move away. Now let's take those pirates out. Alex, we fire on your go. Get on the sides now. Stay on the sides of the creek. Lost, which way? Left, through these bushes. Just don't blow your cover, man. We're on our way. According to Intel, this outpost shouldn't give us much trouble. But I suggest going quietly as much as we can. Alright, let's try and sneak through. If we find trouble, we go loud. But not before I give the go. Hold them. Shit, patrols. Go right, now. back there. If we capture it, we can control the crane. But how is this going to help us? We'll just drop a container on them and pray it explodes? Do we even know which containers hold explosives? Actually, we do. Intel indicates that the red ones contain ammunition and explosives. Well, lucky us. Check what the crane holds right now. 
Let's go with it. I can't see any quiet way through the next area anyway. Alright. Get ready to bridge and clear the building. Let's go. Get outside. We don't want to miss this. Stay back and enjoy the show. Flash it, Venom up. This is it. Go, go, attack. We have to clear this whole outpost now. We will just keep fighting now. Stay with me! Steve, give me a hand over here! Hang on! Hurry up, mate! You've been stuck! There! I'll stand! I'll push through the tracks! Consider pretending to be one of those assholes a lazy job? Then you better try it yourself. Hey, knock it off, you two. Focus. What do we do next? Pan, can you get us in the train station? I have clearance to drive a truck out of this outpost and all the way to the town. But I'm not sure what happens once we get to the train station. Only way I can sneak you in are these supply crates. Hopefully they'll accept loading them directly on the train. Couldn't you come up with a less comfortable idea? The train departs in about two hours. There isn't much time. We gotta hurry. Alright, get in the crates. I'll handle the rest. Okay, let's do it. I'll load it up. You guys okay back there? We'll suffer it. An enemy reinforcement should be here any second. They'll be searching for us. Leave that to me. I have 
orders to carry our dead and wounded back to the town. I need to check your cargo. Sir, wait. It's a real mess back there. Very unpleasant smell. If you just had lunch, I suggest staying away from it. Right, whatever. Move along, move along. They bought it. Impressive, man. Slow for movement. Boring conversation anyway. Hang on back there, guys. Our journey has just begun. Good evening, officer. I was told to make sure those crates get on the train. Negative, Private. We have orders to prevent any further supplies on the train. But I have orders to. I gotta load these crates on the train. No can do. Our orders come from General Romanov himself. Your supplies will be stored in warehouse number two and get loaded in the next train tomorrow. Also, you need to leave the station area too, unless you have level 3 clearance. It's okay, officer. I understand. Oh, great. Now what? We're gonna get stuck in the warehouse. We've got less than an hour before the train departs. Pat, do you copy? Where'd she go? I'm working my way around and inside the station. We gotta do something. We can't just stay here. No. We can't risk blowing our cover. Pan, work your way downtown. Once you get there, try and find a way into the station area. We'll be in touch. Captain, you have new orders. You have no one under level 3 clearance inside the station. As you command, my general. Your train will be ready in 20 minutes. Good. There is no time to waste. Task Force 99 is already sneaking around. All right, Ben. We have about 20 minutes before our own train departs. They locked us in this warehouse. You're the only one who can get us out of time. Remember, walk your disguise. You're one of them now. They won't suspect you unless you provoke them. Be fast, make your way into the train station, reach the warehouse, and get us out before it's too late. Good luck. I should find an ID before talking to enemies. Can I see your papers, please? Good. You may proceed. Hold it right there, kid. Show me your ID. This is a restricted area. You need higher clearance to proceed inside the station. Speed, do you copy? They won't let me in the station. They say I need a higher clearance. Oh, great. What do we do now? Go to our intel room. Enough soldiers get high clearance from their sergeants. Try and find enemy sergeants around there. If you help them, they'll most likely give you high clearance. You'll need level 3 clearance to enter the station. Good luck. Thanks, Lars. I'm on it. Hey, soldier. We need your help. I'm listening. There has been a riot downtown from a group of our own troops. They suddenly decided that General Romanov's sections are against Russia and that he plans to become a dictator. Can you believe that shit? Anyway, General Romanov ordered us to wipe out this riot using any means necessary. I need some more hands for this. Can you help us? With pleasure. Great! Follow me at the rally point downtown. See, General Romanov may seem too unorthodox sometimes, but let me tell you, he really loves Russia, and he will do what he thinks is the best for her. Uh huh? Mother Russia, brother, it's a she, remember? Oh, yes. Da. Da. You hold here. Take position by the roadblock. This is 
Fighting machine back there, brother. You really deserve a higher rank. I need higher clearance. Higher clearance? Are you sure, kid? I don't think I'm the right person for this. Listen, I really need that clearance. I'll get in real trouble with my captain. Who is your captain, soldier? The one that gives you a lot of trouble if you disappoint him. Captain Antonov? Oh boy, fair enough, kid. Show me your ID. Thanks, I appreciate it. You don't have enough clearance yet, kid. You shall not pass. Hey, you! Come over here. You want a job, kid? Yes, sir. Listen, the pirates are asking for more money from our boss. They say their services were too good compared to the money we gave them. Those assholes already failed to defend the supply depot from the infamous Task Force 99. We had one group of shitheads to worry about, now we have the pirates too. So what do you want me to do? I'm gathering troops to take out the pirate leaders in their nearby outpost. General Romanov himself has given the assassination order, so it's official. If you want to help, jump in the truck. We're heading there now. Alright. Most is close. Keep a low profile. Let's go. Support team in position. Okay, kid. We'll attack on your goal. Upstairs, enemy reinforcements imminent. Here they come from our hill. We're all clear. Get ready to breach. Their leaders are inside. We need them dead at all costs. Taking them out will subject the pirates to us. Wait for us to get in position. We'll breach from both sides. All right, we're in position. We'll breach on your mark, kid. Well done, troops. That should teach them not to mess with the General Roman. Now, let's get back to the town and report. Didn't know we had a stormtrooper in our team. You sure know how to fight, kid. I'll let General Romanov know about your excellent performance. No, no. That's okay, sir. Well, there must be something I can do for you. I only need one favor. Let me guess. You need higher clearance in your ID pass, right? 
That's all I ask for, sir. Okay, kid. Show me your ID and I'll give it to you. Thanks. Good luck, kid. Close enough, kid, but not enough to let you pass. Hey, you, over there. Up for a chess tournament? What was that again? We are setting up a chess tournament. We need one more player. Wanna join us? And what do I get if I win? <laughs> Anything from money to spicy information. I'm in. Great. Follow me inside. It's going to be fun. Okay, here's our fourth player. Your turn, butthead. Okay, let's see. I fish my brother for some drugs so he could play too. Forget that idiot. Hey, stop it. That's my brother you're talking about. Yeah, your drunk brother, butthead. Guys, I found another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I can't stand you guys anymore. Oh, wait for me. I'll come too. Griggs, don't have good vodka here anyway. Only this cheap also. Hey, Boris! Uh, where did he go? <laughs> Losers. I told you it would be fun. Okay, ready to play? Sorry, I don't play with bullies. Game over. You lose, kid. Hey, are you okay? This happens all the time. Me brother gets drunk and everyone makes fun of him. It's so embarrassing. Just look at him. They're so pathetic. Nobody respects us. Hey, listen. You're a sergeant, right? And you let those privates disrespect your authority? Sergeant or no, nobody ever listens to me. These guys were right. We are losers. You have to stop crying and show them the power of your rank. Put them in their place. What would happen if General Romanov saw you get humiliated like that? I would be in big trouble. Now what do you prefer? Doing something about it? Or keep things as they are and eventually get into trouble? You're right. If they don't listen to me, they'll get complaint reports straight to the captain. Hey, you two! Thank you so much for opening my eyes. They respect me now. Good for you, man. How can I ever repair you? How about a higher clearance? Sure, show me your ID. Thanks, and take care. No, you take care, my friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. Don't mention it. Okay, level three clearance granted. Let's try to enter the station again. Show me your identification. Looks in order. You may proceed, kid. Speed, I'm inside the station. Excellent work, Ben. Now come get us out of here quick. We don't have much time before Romanov's train departs. I'm on my way. is on his way to get us out of here. Get ready. Train leaves in about five minutes. We need to hurry. No, Pan needs to hurry. We're stuck in here. Relax. He made it into the station. He'll be here. Yeah, but if he's too late, we'll lose the train and it will all be his fault. Spee, your team are counting on you. They believe in you. And you need to start believing in them too. 
You have to show them that you have faith in them. Inspire them to fight. I guess you're right, mate. It's just that I feel responsible for everything that might go wrong. If we lose, lots of innocent people will suffer. I don't want that burden on my shoulders. Listen, if we fail, it won't mean that we'll be responsible for what comes next. Romanov is. We do everything within our power to stop him. And that's what matters. Remember that, my friend. Laws, you make everything sound so simple. That's why you're the head of our team. Well, if I'm the head, then you're the heart's beat. Without your skills and devotion, we wouldn't be able to win a single fight. And no matter what happens in the end, remember that we did the right thing. Thanks, Laws. Right on time. Guys, are you okay? We were right, Pat. Hey, listen. Great work up there. Looks like I underestimated your skills, mate. You make a great undercover agent. Thanks, V. But we better get moving. The train will depart any minute now. It's enough for us to sneak onto the train. Pan, work your way out of here and regroup with the rest of the team. Are you kidding me? I'm coming with you. Three Starways is already a risky approach. We can't afford another one. And we need a diversion. Assemble the task force and continue as planned. Fair enough. Good luck, guys. And I was just starting to enjoy watching you two arguing. Let's get out there. Roman's train is on the other side of the rail yard. We'll have to sneak our way through. Where we get down there, we have to stay concealed. Avoid open areas at all costs. We have to reach the very last wagon. It's the only one not being inspected. All right, Alex, you lead the way. Let's go. Just their last lady groups. Don't worry, it's not leaving yet. Alright, when it stops, we'll run for the last wagon. The train should depart any second. There we go. Boss, how long until we reach the base? Shouldn't take long. 20 minutes? We won't make a move unless Pan starts the diversion. Then we fight all the way to the front wagons to find and kill Romanov. Got it? Agreed. Alright.
came from. Well done so far, men. Spee, do you copy? It worked. They're sending their forces to us.
this one's clear too. No, this is wrong. Close. How many wagons are left? There's one more passenger wagon. One the engine. If he's not in this one, he's not on the train. I'll reach this time. Get ready. Here we go. Clear. Clear? This place is bloody empty. Where the fuck is he? Calm down, he's being injured. There's no other place left. What if he's not on the train? He's here. Mm -hmm. One more door. I'll get that one door. Okay, but be careful. Alex, tell us when you're ready. It was going to be that easy to kill me? It's not so easy to kill the future ruler of the world. You failed, with one of you already dead, and the rest of you will soon follow. But I must say, I admire your amazing combat performance back in Sicily. Six men taking out my entire company? That is what I call bravery. I could surely use men like you, but unfortunately you are on the wrong side. However, it is never too late to change. You killed my best friend, you piece of shit! You hate me, don't you? Of course. Look at all you did. All the effort you did to get me. You think you are heroes. Your resemblance to history's heroes is great. But that's not enough to stop me. I'm not afraid of you. It doesn't matter. You will soon be dead anyway. Any last words? Why are you doing this? What are you trying to achieve? Global domination? What's the fucking point? It's natural to be curious. I'll fulfill your dying wish. Because I respect brave soldiers that are committed to their cause. I will tell you how it started. How I rose to power. And then, you will meet your destiny. Twenty years ago, my older brother Ivan and I were sent on a mission to find and destroy a British intelligence base hidden in northern Russia. We were under the command of Captain Volkov, my late father's best friend. It was the first step of my glorious destiny. This is how it all started. It was a long time ago, when the Soviet Union was still alive. I was only a sergeant back then, by the side of my older brother, Ivan Romanov. Grigori, we start. Captain Volkov is waiting for us. Yes, brother. Let's go. We were sent at the northern edge of the motherland, where the British had set up a secret base to monitor Russian activity. Once we discovered them, we were ordered to wipe them out, as such actions were not tolerated from the USSR. It was a different time, a time when our enemies were not forgiven so easily. Gather up, troops. The British base is just behind this hill. Our mission is simple. Eliminate any British military presence in the area. Lieutenant Romanov will lead the assault. Get yourselves ready, men. We will begin the attack shortly. Lieutenant Romanov, I want you and your squad in the tent for a moment. Everyone else, stand by for us. Yes, sir. Ivan, I want you and your squad to lead this assault. I'll keep sending in troops to support you. But you boys need to know that this is bigger than you can imagine. The bridge holds an intelligence storage room in the basement of the HQ. We must acquire a document with the ID of A435. 
It contains critical information about destabilizing our motherland's political system. Even plans for the collapse of the Union. Listen, Ivan, I count on you to get the document, but keep it between you and your squad. If we burn this base down, we will only get a medal. But if we acquire the document and prevent our enemies from holding it, we will return home as heroes. This information was very hard to get. Many good men died to deliver it to us. Let's make sure their sacrifice didn't go in vain. Now go, my boys. Yes, Captain. Everybody, on me. Let's go. It doesn't sound like an easy mission, Ivan. I know, Grigor, but we will do anything for the Soviet Union. My brother loved Russia as much as he loved our mother. Despite being my brother, his loyalty and devotion to freedom was making me sick. I never believed in freedom. As long as it exists, there will never be stability. There's a camp, but this is just the front door. Grigori, attack in your shop. like their headquarters. On the balcony.
All clear. Everyone, regroup downstairs. Capital Volkov, we have secured the headquarters and you are about to investigate the basement. Good. Well done, boys. Now listen carefully. Keep the rest of our men out of the HQ. Don't let them know about this. I want only you and your squad to investigate the basement. Get down there and find the document file. Remember, the AD is A435. Make me proud, boys. Don't worry, sir. We will get it for you. Igor, Igor, Pavel, Oleg, call me. Downstairs. Everyone else, hold position outside. We had captured the British headquarters. Securing that file was going to make us glorious. I was ambitious that one day I would become someone great. And this operation was my chance. This way. Follow me. Careful. This should be it. Looks like they stockpiled. It will take us hours to find the right one. Here, this section says top secret operations. File ID is A435. Keep looking. Normally, I would deliver the document to my captain, and he would get all the honors. But once I got my hands on that file, I realized that I had to be the only survivor. This way, I would get all the glory for myself and become someone great. I was ready to fulfill my destiny. I killed my brother and my squad, and I didn't stop there. I had to kill all who stood between me and my captain. Grigori, what are you doing? Why? For Mother Russia. I had found enemy body armor in the HQ. I used it to protect myself, as I was alone against the rest of my platoon. Hold your fire. It's Sergeant Romanov. Sergeant, we heard gunfire. What happened? We are the others. Captain Volkov, Sergeant Romanov is shooting at us. What do we do? If this is a joke, soldier, what are you talking about? Stop fooling around and report. He's killing us here. Who? What is going on out there? Grigory Romanov, sir. He's shooting at our own men. Nonsense. Ivan, do you copy? What the situation? Can anyone see Lieutenant Ivan out there? No, sir. It's just Grigory alone rampaging. No, I didn't feel bad about killing my own men. In fact, it made me feel powerful. I even found killing my own brother very easy, as I always hated him and inserted everything. Grigory, do you hear me, sir? What is he talking about? Where is your brother? What's going on? Grigori is slaughtering us, sir! This is not possible. Grigori, my son, can you hear me? Please respond. For the first time, I felt that nothing was holding me back. No older brother could save my place. This time, I was the one who would get promoted, and all that for a greater cause. No witnesses, no survivors. Nobody should escape. I should be the only survivor. This way no one will be left to report what I really did. And I will become a great hero to the people. Hear me out there! Zhukov, Leonov, get 
out there and find out what's happening. As I was closing into my captain's tent, I felt the might of my power grow it stronger, and destiny calling me aloud. Grigori, what are you doing? I didn't believe them on the radio. You can't be a spy. I knew you since you were a young boy. Did you even kill your own brother, your own blood? What do you think you will earn from this? Power. When I returned home, I was welcomed back as a hero that made becoming a general very easy. And then I started planning about taking over the world, starting a new war, and making sure I would be victorious. How's that war going to do any good? Today, the world thinks it's heading the right way. All this peaceful progress is weakening the human race. People need to experience war so they realize the true value of their life. Then they will begin to appreciate what they were given. Only those who went through true chaos understand what the world really needs. And I am here to provide that. What about that nuke? What do you plan to do with it? It will be the key with which I'll unlock a new era in human history. The torch to ignite the fire of the war. Millions will die, only because of you. Every noble cause requires great sacrifices. Mine is no different. Twisted men through history use the same argument. Well, maybe they weren't so twisted after all. Same way you aren't heroes. Because this is no time for heroes. It is a time of saviors. Hundreds of generations to follow will be thankful. I'll stay in history as a savior, not a hero. You should be thankful too. I respected your last wish, and I graced you with knowing my purpose. And since I admire your valor, I will give you a spectacular death. So long, Task Force 99. Come back here, you bastard. Shit. What did he even mean by that? Wait. Los!
Brakes over Alex. Let's go. We're out of the tunnel. Com should work now. Ben, do you read me? Are you guys out there? Speed, is that you? Are you guys okay? We're starting to think we would have to go on without you. Where are you? We're at the rendezvous point. Where are you? We're on our way. How am I gonna tell him about Lois, Alex? Hey, over here! Oh no. What happened to Alex? Where's Laws? He, um, he didn't make it then. Shit! <sighs> I'm so sorry, Spee. Come on, team's this way. Hey guys, just give me a second, I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we go, buddy. It's me. Thanks for waiting for me. Lowe's will do the same, Alex. Now get some rest. Team, it's good to see you all, because the past hours weren't easy. I hope you are all fit and rested, because this is far from over. Cardile, are you ready? I'll take your silence as a yes. Spee, what happened out there? You gotta fill us in. I have bad news, and I'm gonna be straight with it. We lost laws. A very critical member of our team is gone. Nothing is gonna be the same anymore. But I am still here. You guys are still here. Romanov is still out there with that nuke threatening the whole world with a new global conflict. The world needs us, because Romanov is way more evil than we could ever imagine. The things he did to rise to power are unspeakable. We may not win this, but we have to at least fight for it. We owe it to Lawrence. He gave his life to stop Romanov, and I'm convinced we're all willing to do the same. Are you ready, Task Force 99? Yes, yes sir! sir! Good. Now let's go get that bastard. and we'll take Claus's place. You are our new officer. It's an honor, Spee. I won't let you down. station. We sabotage it, and we proceed to the main base. Any plan of attack? Stealth's not an option. We go loud, but we'll split up first. SV, AV, most speed. Go to the right flank into the bushes. Provide cover fire from the rear. You got it, sir. Let's go. Pan, Ron, Cardile, you guys stay with me. Wait for SV to get into position. Okay, we're all set. Take position by the stairs. We have to use the element of surprise. Cardo, throw a grenade up there. We go loud on the first explosion.
let it be! We have to get clear of the blast radio. Who's back? This way. Hold here for a moment. See that big gate? That's the main entrance to Romanov's base. That compound is as long as three football fields. The nuke silo is in there. Reaching that silo and disabling that nuke is our top priority. Destroy anything that stands in our way. I know that we are outnumbered and possibly outgunned, but we're the only ones who can get this done before it's too late. How are we gonna get that open? We should take the guards out first. No shit, Sherlock. Why don't we just walk over there and kindly ask them to open the gate for us? SV will hack into the guard post's computer and open the gate using the laptop switcher's got. Still too little cover out there. It's too dangerous. Yeah, they can see us and we can see them. A couple of smoke grenades should give us enough concealment to reach the road fence. I'm okay with that. Okay, Pan, SV, Ivy, throw smoke grenades on the fields. Wait for the smoke to spread. Go! Find cover by the road, quick! Hurry, before the smoke is off! Everyone, regroup! We need to get that gate open ASAP. SV, get in the guard post and hack the gate open using the laptops we acquired. I want that gate open in less than a minute. Ron, Pete, take out those ZPUs. Speed, any idea what to expect behind this gate? More of Romanov's elites, and possibly light armor. PMPs. Now you tell me? We're screwed, man! Hey, shut up! Remember Sicily? Remember the bloody hind? We got through that, and we'll get through this too. For loss. For loss. I need you focused, man. I don't want to lose you too. SV, is that gate open yet? I'm working on it! This hardware is ancient! It's gonna take some time! So, looks like someone wants to prove that he is a hero. Romanov. I am surprised you are still alive. But I can't say the same for your friend. His death is only a test of what is to come. You and your team might be fierce fighters, but you are no match for my stormtroopers. They will crush you long before you can reach me. You killed Laz, you piece of shit! We're coming for you, Romanov. You're going down. I see the loss of your friend filled you with anger. Which makes you just like me, and unlike any hero. Soon you will watch your team members die one by one at the hands of my stormtroopers. After that, you will witness the beginning of a new world era as my nuclear missile launches. Oh no, he's gonna start the countdown. You leave me no choice. You have gone too far this time. We will get to it before it launches, you hear me? You'll have to go through me first. Until then, I'll be watching. SV, talk to me, why is it taking so long? Got it! Everyone, rally up. Get ready to push. Stay together and stay in cover. Here we go! BMP! Pull back, pull back! Far back! It's killing us! Sir, what do we do? Stay in bloody cover!
Where did that come from? Look, Allied Chopper. Who are they? Is it Grey Cloud? It's not a chopper. Good to see you again, my friend. Who are they, sir? Hell. I thought we weren't supposed to call for help. And we didn't. in the countdown, I gathered my team and made my way here ASAP. I brought my Italian team and local special forces to fight for you. Captain Mallory, it's an honor to meet you. We're at your service. Looks like I was wrong when I said we'll never meet again. Romanov has gone too far. It is time to stop him. Sir, we have anti-armor equipment for you and your team. Thanks. For everything. Yuri. Prepare your men. I guess you guys went rogue too, right? Spying on Romanov required it. We're all there is. And we're all that Romanov's gonna get. Task Force! Let's go get that bastard. Charge! Go, go, go! Yes, 
yourself. Cardile, that was very brave of you. Excellent work out there. I see you brought some friends to the party. I have to say I underestimated your men, Captain Mallory. Taking out all these stormtroopers was impressive. But you will never get to me because my personal heavy guards have never lost a fight. They're the only thing standing between you and me. And I am the last thing standing between you and my missile. Let the strongest man survive. Enemy counterattack at the main gate! Spee, I'm sending my men to hold them back. Take my men too. You won't be able to hold them long enough by yourselves. Alright, let's go. You're crazy, right? I am not risking losing my team by the hands of Romanov. Are you kidding? We're already in a shitstorm! I won't let another member of my team die. Oh, excuse me, sir, but weren't you the one who wanted us to give our lives to defeat Romanov? This is different. Different my ass. You're just pissed about laws and you want payback. You don't understand. I never lost a soldier before. Spee, listen to me. That is what Romanov wants. He wants to take you out so we lose our leadership. I'll go fight Romanov alone. That's an order. It's a little late to remember orders, Spee. Look. If you don't want our team to be in danger, then at least let me come with you. Laws was my friend too. Deal. Now let's go get that son of a bitch. Look at this place. So many preparations that people can suffer. These are the horrors of war, Pan. Someone up really wants to cause trouble. That's why we're here, so he won't. There he is, Romanov. Man, listen to me. We have to take him down together. No, I'm taking him now. No, can't wait. No, can't. Stay down here. I'll handle them.
Pan, are you alright? I'm fine. It's just my leg. Spee, I can't fight anymore. You'll have to get Romanov on your own, just like you wanted. I told you not to come, Pan. Can you make it back to the team? I'll be alright. Spee, when you find Romanov, don't show him mercy. Do it for me. For loss. He will get what he deserves. You have my word. Silo. That's where Romanov is. What do you mean? I challenge you to fight me, but you must both use the same weapon. Dispose your weapons in that opening on your left. There's an STG-44 in the case on your right. Why should I trust you? How do I know it's not a trap? I am a man of my word. I fulfilled your last wish and told you everything about my past. Besides, you can either do as I say, or you can stay locked in this chamber and witness the world burn. It's up to you, Captain Mallory. Finally, I will fight the man who destroyed my vision myself. It's over, Romanov. You will not win. Look how fate brought us to this moment. You, me, and a nuclear missile. The winner gets to choose the target. I might as well stop it. At this point, the only thing you can do is change the target coordinates. And that is only if you manage to kill me. Now, Captain Mallory, prepare to meet your destiny. Time to see who's the tough guy around here. Bring it on! You fight like a child!
Romanov. You think I am a monster, but you are no different from me, Captain Mallory. How many men have you killed? How many just today? It is now the end that you realize it, always when it is too late. You are no hero. You are just a cold-blooded, vengeful killer, just like me. You want revenge for your friend? Go ahead, take it! Kill me with all your hate, and prove you are no different than me! Do it! No. My mission is accomplished. No more killing Romanov. I will send that nuke somewhere nobody will get hurt, and go home. You don't have the guts to finish off your enemy. You try so hard to be a hero. You are no hero. It doesn't matter. Stopping that nuke from killing thousands is more important. Do you know why, Romanov? Because we're not heroes. We are soldiers. Where is he? He's supposed to be in there. Shit, the missile's launching. Get to cover. Wait, someone's coming from the door. Stay sharp, men. He was a friend, and a brother, a brave soldier. Los gave his life for freedom, to ensure the world stays safe from evil men like Romanov. For all of you, who served among him like brothers, and fought beside him as soldiers. To the world, he is an unknown hero. To us, he is way more than that. He will never be forgotten for he is a fallen brother. Spi, you alright? I'm fine, Pan. Task Force will never be the same without laws. Yeah, but you're still here. You know we have faith in you. Besides, you founded this task force. I know, Pan. I know. You think you handle Laws' position in the office? Well, I'll do my best, but I don't think I'll be as good as Lost was. I'm sure you'll do fine, Pan. I'm proud of you.
Friendly, don't shoot. I've got something very fascinating to show you. Come, follow me. Some of these containers hold STG-44 rifles that Romanov wants to replicate and use to create an advanced assault rifle. His army already has plenty of AK-47 rifles, so I don't get what all the fuss is about. Anyway, now, this particular red container holds some artifacts straight from World War II. Most importantly, the second journal of an American paratrooper back in 1943. Your captain, Spee, already got to know half of his story. Now you'll be graced with the rest of it. But listen very carefully. If you accept to take the journal, then you agree that you will read it on your way out of this outpost. This means that it will take you some additional time before you get your next objective. Anyway, I hope this was clear to you. I'm going to open the door for you. Stand back. All yours. Take a look. We're in conversation anyway. Hang on back there, guys. Our journey has just begun.
I should find an ID before talking to enemies. Great undercover agent. We need to get that gate open ASAP. Esvi, get to the guard post and pack the gate open using the laptops we acquired. So many preparations so people can suffer. We love the horrors of war, Pan. Targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. Proper good job, mate. Captain wants to see you.
pirates we hired lost our seaside supply depot a few hours ago. They say it was that Task Force 99. Task Force 99? Are those assholes still alive? It appears so. Looks like that's where Romano's elite guards came by. Things were so easy before they came. I can't stand them bossing us around all the time. Well, one thing is for sure. Romanov is surely worried about the task for shit club. Dude, those guys took out almost our entire company in Italy. No wonder they are a threat. Well, let's hope you won't come across them anytime soon. I think they are close. They already hit the supply depot. It won't take long until we hear about them again. Pirates we hired lost our seaside. Show me your identification. Looks in order. You may proceed, kid. Spee, I'm inside the station. Excellent work, Ben. Now come get us off here quick. I want to talk to General Romanov. Let me through. Romanov, my captains and I demand our payment to be delivered at once. You have delayed way too much, General. Our cooperation was supposed to be lucrative. You will either pay us now, or our deal will be broken immediately. How dare you come to my office and demand rewards for your poor services? Your arrogance is beyond even my imagination. Our agreement broke the moment you lost that supply outpost. Don't underestimate our services, Russian. We've been ruling these seas way before you arrived here. If I were you, I would be careful, and I expect you to take us pirates seriously. Not only you failed to do the one thing I asked you to do, not only you lost a very significant outpost of mine, you let my most dangerous enemy gain advantage over me, which puts my whole operation in danger. And on top of all that, you expect me to take you seriously? You came here demanding me to pay you for what? For your failure? His attitude sounds more like a spoiled child rather than a so-called mighty pirate leader. Now leave before I run out of patience. If you come back again, I will shed your blood in your own seas. Thought you liked dogs. Chill out, Spee. It was just a wild dog. We're fighting a war here. Well, that was my point last time, but a nightmare I had changed my mind. Yeah, whatever. Without your help, we are looking to assist. We think Carter is with us. 
He's a good warrior. Listen, the Mabian bees are right above us. We have to take them out before advancing. We've got plenty of seaports here. Cardell. Day 1, September 20, 2011. Political instability is dramatically increasing in Russia. Looks like people missed the good old Soviet days, and they beg for its return. It is time to take control. As currently the strongest general in Russia, I will appear as the people's last hope to bring ballots back to the motherland. They will welcome my coup with open arms. The government will fall like a house of cards within one night. The communist spirit is still burning strong in people's hearts, exactly as I have predicted. They have to miss freedom in order to appreciate it, which is exactly what I need. Day 2, September 21, 2011. Russian people begin to riot all over the motherland. Chaos will soon spread, and only I can stop it by initiating the coup. It won't take long until our corrupt government realizes that they are finished. All armed forces will be mobilized at once, establishing my martial law. We will revive the Soviet spirit in every Russian citizen. They will follow me blindly like sheep, as they are thirsty for a strong and confident leader. They are sick of coward leaders 
who bow to the demands of the West. Day 3, September 22nd, 2011. The coup has begun. Everything is going as planned. People in the streets shout, Glory to Russia! I offer to bring back the stability and equality of the communist Russia that people craved for so long has finally been acknowledged. Everybody is cheering alongside my soldiers, and they all celebrate the dawn of a new age for Russia. The Soviet Union will once again live to see the world burn beneath its feet. This time, with me in charge. Day 6, September 25, 2011. We managed to track down and capture all of the dread politicians, except one. They all shake like cowards, knowing my lust for revenge after they betrayed me. They finally realize that I was the one who they should have trusted, and not their western allies, whose turn will also come very soon. All traitors will be executed for their treachery. It always bothered me to see how authority works in the government. It's illogical. Cowardly politicians ordering brave and mighty generals to do their bidding. As if they know better how to conduct a battle. <laughs> That's not how it should be. It should be the strongest taking over the weaker. Survival of the fittest. Day 8, September 27, 2011. That final traitor is caught. Now all government members are dealt with. And the new Russia will soon rise under my command as Supreme General. Finally, my glory will see the light of day. Finally, my might will become known to the world and spread fear to my enemies. I will have the honor to revive the Soviet Union. And I will destroy Anyone who gets in my way. Day 11, September 30, 2011. Russia is now completely under my control. But in order to restore the Soviet Union, we need to annex more countries. However, most of them are under the influence of their Western allied pigs. Soon their time will come. Today, I will initiate Operation Red Globe. My armies will establish secret military bases all over Europe. We will be right under their noses. Then I will start a new world conflict to bring chaos and destruction everywhere. And when the dust settles, I will be the last man standing to rule everything that remains. I know people will not approve of my plans, but they do not get to decide. When you rule people and threaten to take their freedom, they tend to either protest or flee. But when you threaten to take their lives, they tend to stay and obey out of terror. Day 16, October 5. 2011. Everything seems to be in order. Our first two bases are successfully established in Italy and Greece. Good thing those government officials were gullible enough to believe that they'll get their share after the war. They were too easy to persuade. Pity. Their country's face will be the same as the rest of the world. Thanks to them, however, a big region in each country is now deserted, with no local activity. Perfect for my undercover military operations. Both bases are heavily guarded and really hard to reach. 
This is the first step in our glorious conquest. Day 20, October 9, 2011. Looks like there is a CIA agent in my base in Italy. If my operations there are discovered, then I will have to begin the war prematurely, speeding up the operation and risking everything I've planned for so long. At this point, the war will happen no matter what. Everything is set. The moment I learn that the enemy knows my plans, my forces will march through Europe. But the more time we have to establish these bases, the easier the victory will be. Even if this agent gave us a way, we are still prepared to win the war. But if this rat hasn't talked yet, we may still have some time to evolve before the outbreak. Day 23, October 12, 2011. That CIA agent tried to ask for reinforcements, but he didn't know that we had jammers installed as soon as we discovered him. We intercepted only one transmission from him but it appears that his signal wasn't strong enough to reach any significant enemy base. Probably nothing to really worry about. He must be captured as soon as possible. We will make him think that we moved out of the village. He will sneak out and try to escape. Once he exposes himself, we will catch him by surprise and capture him. After that, he must be interrogated so we can find out what he knows and execute him. However, it seems there is one more rat hiding in the outskirts. It's probably a local who somehow managed to stay in the village after the evacuation. I can't be too sure yet. We will investigate both cases with extreme haste. Day 24, October 13, 2011. The situation is critical. It feels like Cold War all over again. We killed the CIA agent, but his transmission was received from a nearby SAS task force who we just caught sneaking around in the village. Three of them are now in custody, and we're investigating for more. But that's not our only problem. The only thing we got out of the agent before killing him was that there is indeed another spy in the area. Just as I suspected. We now have no idea who and where that spy is, so we are in total lockdown. My forces will search every inch of the town to find that spy and any other SAS troops in the area. Once captured, they will either tell me everything they know or they will die in agony. Day 25, October 14, 2011. When you choose your men, you must choose them wisely. Today I was extremely disappointed with my men, and especially Major Misha. That fool who I put in charge without predicting his incompetence. These SAS troops escaped, and somehow managed to take out all of our forces in Italy. Six men against hundreds. I thought that leaving Major Misha back in charge would be enough to stop them. That idiot proved to be so useless that he even let them reach him. But they will never reach me, and they know nothing yet. We will monitor the transmissions and see if they report anything. If they do... They will force me to start the war prematurely. I will keep my eye on them, do some research, find out who they are and what their story is. And if they make a move, I will be there, and I will be waiting. Day 47, November 5, 2011. 
Captain Steve Mallory, also known as Speed, XMI6, really noble to ideals like justice, peace, freedom, and all that bullshit. That is the man behind that SAS team who killed my whole army in Italy. What surprises me is that they haven't reported anything yet. It's been almost three weeks, and there's no sign of any transmission coming from them. What's keeping them? What are they waiting for? They want to be heroes. They are preparing to fight me. Fight for freedom. Captain Mallory, I will be waiting for you. And I will be ready. I know you are coming. And I know your darkest fears. Prove to me you are a worthy opponent. And I might just let you live to witness the glory of my dominance. Let the strongest man survive.